Hi guys, thank you for watching. This time, we'll focus on the reading subtest. If you watched our previous video, that's when you've learned that listening is exactly the same for academic and general training candidates. But what about reading? There is a slight difference between the two. So academic passages are usually longer, up to 1,500 words and maximum of two pages. For the general training passages, they're shorter, usually one page and maximum of 750 words. Now, looking at the reading subtest, there are three passages. So, one passage, approximately 13 to 14 points. That means to say, the grand total for the three passages, 40 points. If we compare listening and reading, earlier we've mentioned that in the listening subtest, everything is incorporated in 30 minutes. That's when you listen and answer. At the same time, you're given extra time for you to transfer your answers and review your work. But what about the reading subtest? You're given one hour. In 60 minutes, you are expected to read. You're expected to answer. At the same time, transfer your answers. So no more extra time for you to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. This time around, what about the passing score? Like what I've mentioned in the previous video, IELTS does not set a specific passing score for all the candidates. So before you move on, you have to ask your recruitment agency or visa consultancy what is the target band score. But just to give you an update, if you're applying for fiancé visa or spouse visa, most of the time 4.0 or 5.0 is enough. If you are a skilled worker, most employers require 5.0 to 6.0. If you're applying for a student visa, bachelor's degree or diploma course, usually 5 or 6 is enough. But if you're applying for a master's degree, 6.5 or 7. If you're applying for PhD, expect it's 7 to 7.5. So once again, it's totally dependent on what you're applying for. For nurses, the majority of the candidates taking the examination in the Philippines, if you're targeting USA, US does not really require a specific band score in listening as long as you're able to meet the target in speaking and overall band score. But what if you're going to Ireland? Ireland requires 6.5 in reading if you're a nurse applying for a working visa. If you're a nurse targeting Australia, New Zealand, or the United Kingdom, you have to aim for at least 7 in reading. So why is it that we encourage everyone to get 7 and better? Because if you get a higher band score, you can apply for all the possible visa options. Now, what about the main problems in reading? Number one is comprehension. Yes, Filipinos know English. In fact, English is part of our system. Since we were born, we were introduced to English already. Yes, we know how to read. But the problem is comprehension. And I hope that this does not scare you at all. But studies have proven, proven that Filipinos are usually behind in comprehension. So if there is something that you have to work out on, you have to improve your comprehension skills because that will maximize your chances of passing the reading subtest. What's my simple tip? As early as now, you can build your vocabulary. The more words you know, the easier the reading subtest will be. And these are words that you can possibly use when you write and when you speak. So vocabulary is everything if you want to pass the examination. At the same time, what about the problems in reading? There are two types of questions, matching headings and true-false not given. Especially because these two comprise 25 points of the 40 points in the reading subtest. So now, what is our suggestion? In class, we give our students test-taking strategies on how they can possibly ace the mind-boggling and confusing true-false-not-given type of question. Yes, it might be an uphill climb. It is a tall order. But if someone is guiding you in the process and you're provided with plenty of materials for you to practice, then at the end of the day, nothing is insurmountable. That's why for our reviewees, we give them a compilation of listening and reading practice tests. What's the good news in the IELTS? Materials are recycled. They come out again and again. What is the suggestion? You answer as many listening and reading practice tests as you can. 
so that there is a possibility what you've answered during the review might be the one that will come out. Who knows? On the day of your examination. So that's it for our mini overview of the reading subtest. Listening and reading are objective. That's why we'll focus some more on the subjective components in the IELTS, namely writing and speaking. So if you're interested, we offer online review services. That's uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Philippine time. We also specialize in one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can message me personally, Irvin Neil Temporal on Facebook or our Facebook account, 9.09 or IELTS Review Center. You can also check our website, www.ninerreview.com. Thanks for watching.